What's up? Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell up above for future uploads and check out the links posted in the description down below as part of the channel. Thank you. Before I jump into this article, I just want to let you know and remind you of Gab here. This is a great social media app and the guy who owns it has actively said online that he will not bow to any request nor give the Irish government anything that they seek should you say anything online that the Irish government potentially don't like if they decide to bring this into law. Now, just think about that for a moment. The fact of the matter is this. These people, these politicians, think that they have the right to discuss amongst themselves as to whether you should be able to say what you like and think what you like. These people are way out of touch and they're way out of line. Now, in my humble opinion, why hasn't McEntee and the number of ministers that have decided to vote for this, why haven't they been raided and why haven't they been arrested? This is unconstitutional. This is an attempt against the Constitution. The Constitution is enshrined to take part in incidents like these to say these people are out of line and to highlight how out of line they are. So why has law enforcement in this country idly stood by? Why have the likes of the bar and the legal profession as a whole, why have they stood back and just looked at this from afar? Why have they not collectively come together and done anything about this? What about all of these civil rights and all these little groups, none of a lot of them NGOs as you know? How come they haven't been bringing attention to this at all? They don't seem to be very interested in the fact that this is totally against your human right. You have a human right to free speech. And in my opinion, I'm going to go one further than that. You have a God-given right to free speech. And these people that an awful lot of individuals would say, and I'm not even going to say individuals, I'm going to actually retract that. I'm going to say the large majority of the population of here of Ireland have said, we didn't vote for these and we don't agree with these people, are trying to enforce this stuff on you. These people in the government have long since forgotten that they work for you. They don't work for anybody else. They work for the people of Ireland. The people of Ireland are the ones who are driving this. We are the owners and we are the ones that drive this country forward. These politicians are far too out of touch. These people, these select individuals that are in the likes of the Dáil and in the Shannad, think they are the ones that are going to play with your God-given rights. They are wrong. And something that you should remember, and I take great inspiration from friends of mine in America, when they have enshrined the First and Second Amendment in their constitution, and I say absolutely 100% respect to them, because when they come to the likes of free speech, it's unequivocal that those people say, you ain't touching that. Here in Ireland, the same energy is being applied. Whatever the media tried to tell you and say, ah, oh, a couple of rabble rousers aren't interested and uh, yeah, yeah, so what? The bottom line is this. This has been discussed so much now that these slinky, slithery individuals are trying to push this back as far as possible and trying to make you forget about this until later on down the road. This is what this government do. This is what these politicians do here in Ireland. They kick the can down the road hoping you'll forget and that people won't be angry and angsty and that they will totally pass on and will say, ah, yeah, yeah, no, don't worry about that in a few months' time. That's going to go away. They're trying to talk about it in the media. They're like, oh, the guy they are saying people have not protested too much now anymore when it comes to the invasion of the country. Are you for real? Are you, are you serious? Are you joking? There's protests happening all the time. But yeah, you're trying to put out that narrative. And the same thing here will apply. I guarantee you, by the time it rolls around to the likes of September, October, they'll start wheeling this back out again. They'll say, yeah, yeah, there's not much opposition to this anymore. Because they will hope that the likes of the volume of emails that have been sent to them, the volume of people that have come to them in the street and have said that they are banging out of order, the volume of people, I suppose, were in their own private lives that have to be looking at them and have to be saying things to them. I mean, if I was related to any of these individuals, they'd be told exactly what I think of them. And I have to particularly behave in a certain way on this platform. And maybe that's a good thing. Because if I was in a personal situation and relationship with any of these people that are voting for this, I would tell them exactly what I think of them and it wouldn't be PG. 
it would be very offensive, I'm sure. Something that these people, of course, don't like. And here's the broad spectrum of what can happen here. Comedy finished in Ireland. That's when you see likes of Tommy Tiernan not too long ago bending the knee. Was that something to do with this? Was this sort of told to him, this is in, down the pipeline now, Tom? You'd want to give it over? Because this isn't a country that's just going to lay down and take this sort of stuff. Because this is a country and a nation that is interested in humour. It is interested in pointing out what's going on. And these people have regularly showed you that they are afraid of when you notice things. And what is happening right now is there are a lot of people in this country that are noticing things. They're noticing that the immigration stuff is absolutely all over the place. They're noticing that the borders are open. They're noticing that the sniffle stuff was an absolute scam. They're noticing that people now are getting the likes of cancer and are having a case of the suddenlies all around them. People are starting to realise what's going on and some have noticed it slower than others. But I can tell you this, the people that have noticed it slower than others are starting to get very angry. So, I don't know about you. If I was in law enforcement, I'd certainly be looking into these people because at the end of the day, this is unconstitutional in my humble opinion. And the fact of the matter is now, the likes of McEntee here, and now an awful lot of people that are looking from outside of this country are like, what's the story with Herman Munster there with the blonde wig on? Now listen, that's that's Helen McEntee. Uh, no, a doubt for it. No, 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 not a doubt for it, according to everybody, allegedly, speculatively. So listen, this person is the one that's responsible for bringing this bill forward. Now... I don't know about you, but certainly my opinion on situations like this and the likes of Catherine Martin out there as well that's telling people that the likes of the mainstream media are the ones to be trusted and you can't really trust anybody else. Paraphrasing there, allegedly speculatively on that one. Have a look at Grit's video, War Not sure if I can play that video and comment on that or all. But have a look at their video with Catherine Martin. It has solidified my opinion that leftist women should never, ever hold any sort of power ever again it was a mistake to give it in the first place guys but the fact of the matter is right now that these people in particular these leftist women should hold no power ever again and i will extend that again because people will say well that's very misogynistic i will extend it to the leftist men that are out there that are running around in government spineless individuals men that have i would say a very low testosterone account and to me, I would say that this is a moment in time where you're looking at weak people creating hard times. And what do hard times create? Strong people. And the strong people are coming forward. They're stepping out. They're starting to run for election in these different places. And I sincerely hope that they win. And if anything, they are going to push these people so far that they are going to do outrageous things. And outrageous things have already happened. People are already questioning the system as things stand. So, where do I end on this? The journal, excuse me, the journal. I was misspeak there. That's not hate speech or anything like that there now, lads. Just letting you know, you know. Anyway, the journal here, which is a leftist, in my humble opinion, outlet, that doesn't seem to question an awful lot of these things, these totalitarian, authoritarian, nonsensical, fascist things. They don't seem to question an awful lot of this too much. From what I've seen, and seem to be regularly ratioed in their comments, a lot of people disagreeing with them in their comments. But what they do seem to be totally interested in is this imaginary far right, this group of people, according to them, that are such an existential threat. And to me... When you look at this far right, it is nationalists, patriots, republicans, people with common sense that have just had enough. And this is where we're at right now. You have people now in this country that have had enough. They have had enough with the lies. They have had enough now with the attempt, not only the fact that these people tell lies. These people, in my humble opinion, the politics here that we see in our government are career lawyers, in my humble opinion. And what you are seeing now is... A big uprising of people that have said, right there now, that's enough. We've had enough of that. And these people are scared. The fact of the matter is this. They have had to kick this on down the road. But they are trying to use this as some sort of, in my humble opinion, some sort of stick that they're going, ah, they don't get too close now. Because they're out there talking about the likes of them being guarded with armed detectives. 
have you the ability to be armed or anything like that the defense forces are running around as you can see there with the rainbow stuff they'd be better off giving that stuff to the citizenry and just disbanding the defense force if you're asking me because that's bias isn't it anyway jumping back to this here those people are armed and they're guarding politicians that's weird isn't it that's very strange and then you're calling people listophobes when they're questioning notes and things online and telling them oh you know you can't say that now I don't know about you, but as I said beforehand, I think it's important that you notice things. I think it's important that you draw correlations between things. I think it's important that you highlight things. And it's like this. If they decide to bring in this nonsensical stuff and try to make this a law, they are going to be the laughing stock of the world. And I'll tell you why. The reason is because there are a number of people that are out there that will happily go to jail. If these people want to push it so far. And what they will create is martyrs. Part of the hero's journey. Is people going to jail. Look at the 1916 heroes. So for anyone that's out there. That's like oh I don't know about this. Now those people were wrongly convicted. They were wrongly imprisoned. And so have an awful lot of the heroes. That have been in prison throughout the years. But you know what I would like to see. I would finally like to see villainy be behind bars. I think that that would be absolutely awesome. And I think that that would be the right thing to happen. Imagine what we could have as a country here. If we had a country that ran efficiently. And ran as a sovereign nation. Without having to worry about anything else. And getting itself involved in nonsense regularly. Imagine that. Imagine not having to send billions out of this country. To foreign countries for unknown reasons. Other than ah they're a great bunch of lads. And then turn around in the same breath. And tell people yeah listen you're going to have to give up the likes of the car. You're going to have to give up the likes of the points. You're going to have to give up all your rights and your freedoms. And all like that. And just uh, look at everybody else. Making sure that they can get on in life. And you just you paddy. You can't be saying and t telling people what you think. Nonsense that isn't it. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell up above for future uploads. Check out the links posted in the description down below. It's part of the channel. We are winning this. This is a big W. Keep up the pressure. I'll talk to you later.